Crux Game Studios. The hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Oh my. Welcome back to another video. Today's gameplay is the hospital. Oh wait, we can actually look around the main menu. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna lie. I just wanted to upload a quick video because I'm gonna be recording The Walking Dead, and we're gonna be changing up the series a little bit. We're not gonna be playing the full episodes anymore, but I don't think y'all care about that. So um, I did play this before. I actually started recording this like a few months ago, um, like right after I recorded the apartment, I think. So yeah, um, I did say I was gonna play the hospital after that, but today is the finally the day. So I'm gonna do a new game. I didn't play the full game at all, so we're good. Best experienced with headphones. Adjust the brightness using the bar above until you can barely see the word crux on the door. Okay, did I already do this? Did I already do this? Yeah, I already did this. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's play. Okay, my volume is a little loud. Plus it's FNAF, okay. When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who, who, who get only mild symptoms and recover quickly. My condition grew worse day by day. I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find me. There are no vacant rooms in the hospitals across the country as the pandemic wrecks havoc. Wreaks havoc, excuse me. As a pandemonium out there, it's a pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become a number. A statistic. Okay. Uh, can I leave? I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday, at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under intubate me if my condition got worse. What if I don't make it? That would, it would be a horrible way to die. Alone in this room. I was never a believer in God, or heaven, or in heck. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I never really stopped to think about that until now. I guess I was too busy living life and changing and chasing shadows to think about that. Okay. Uh, are you gonna keep depressing us for your story? Okay. I'm feeling weak. So weak. I think I'll sleep now. Can barely breathe. Okay. Um, that's cool. Nice little backstory. Uh, hold on. What are we doing out here now? Put this to the side. Uh. Uh, why did we get up? I don't know. Okay. Bathroom door. I'm up? How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Okay. Walk around using WASD keys looking around, so observe with your dude. Surroundings by clicking on objects in the world. This game saves automatically. You do not need to save the game to resume where you left off. Wait, how long is this? Okay. Um, what's this? Bathroom door appears to be locked. Okay. Um, let's get up. <laughs> That person out there. Maybe a doctor. I need to find out what's going on. Okay. Uh, I'm highly against walking around like this. Where is everybody? When I checked in here, the corridors were full of activity all day and night. Full of nurses and doctors and pa patients. Um, hello? Locked. That's odd. There are no room numbers on the door. I'm pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked in. Okay. Should I be concerned? Keep looking. Nope, locked. Locked. How about this one? Please don't jump scare me. Sealed, just like the others. Okay, guess we're going the other way. Alright, this is the front desk where we just checked in. We should be able to exit now. Let's go. Alright, open this. No luck. Didn't these doors open out to a lobby with elevators? Well, that would have been my way out. Except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. Okay. Whoa! Oh! Bro, these jump scares are like two cents each, and they're still scaring the heck out of me. Nice plan. Uh, she walked this direction twice, so I don't know if he's like copying us. Locked. Strange. There are no signs. I could swear these were signs behind these doors. Cardiology, obstetrics, radiology, etc. Why are the windows opaque? I can't see a thing through them. Okay. Uh, everything's locked. Oh, shoot. We all know what a blinking light means in horror games. And it's cracked open, so we're gonna have to go through that. I hope I don't get terrified while playing this. Let's go. Alright, what's in here? Alright. 
check all these doors. Locked. Alright, how about this one? Okay, of course that's locked. Let's keep going through here then. Whoa, man, this is giving me so much anxiety. Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's gotta be somebody. A nurse or a doctor who can help me and tell me what's going on. Bro, if I'm in this position, I'm going back to sleep. I'm not I'm not Stand getting up and doing this. Time. Open that, nope. Locked. Okay, how about this one? Seriously? What? Someone on the other side of this door? Oh gosh. Wait, this is this room looks just like the one I was in. But it's a mess. What in the Is this does somebody give birth in here? What the How awful. There's some kind of stain. The bed wasn't cleaned after the last patient departed. Oh. Uh, oh! Stop! Okay, dang, I get it. That figure. Oh my, sound came from out there. Then, are you expecting me to like, are you expecting me to like, uh, go out there? I guess so. The figure I saw on TV, it reminded me of, no, it can't be, I must be imagining things. Maybe that. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream where my body lies and, and I'm in some kind of coma. Okay. Uh, what's good? Okay. Next door is uh, cracked open. Nope. Locked. Okay. Let's go through here. I'm getting mad anxious. Not gonna lie. Okay. Let's look. Oh. Okay. That one wasn't scary, luckily. So let's uh, look at that. Okay. Nope. Okay. Let's continue on. Uh, get me through here. Hello? Okay. We're still moving on pretty well. Uh, check this door. Nope, locked. Okay. Let's continue on. Oh, this one's open. Who's this? Oh, uh. Okay. Didn't want to go in there anyway. I still open it? Of course it is. Who shut the door? Was it a corpse in there? Yes, it was. Is this a dream? Um, it's growing increasingly disturbing. Uh, this is very strange. I hope this does not happen in hospital that night, even though I'm guessing it doesn't. Is somebody toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. Who did it remind you of, bro? Uh, hey! Can't be her. This is a dream, a nightmare, rather which I'm trapped. How can it be her? Okay. This is like that game Forgotten that we played, but a lot scarier. Uh, excuse me? Okay. Um, get me through here. Hello? What? <laughs> How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture and the way they are arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to live. Except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. Uh... Oh! Hey there. Honey, I don't know who you are. It can't be. It can't be her. I can see her face. I can't see her face, but I know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. Nia, is that you? This is real, I'm dreaming. Uh, Nia, is that you? That familiar silence. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events four years ago are coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt that I have haunted me since. Could I have saved her life and done things differently? And at what cost? I, I couldn't have saved you, Nia. I'm so sorry for what happened, Nia. Okay. Only cold silence. What does she Go! Oh! Please stop jump scaring me. It's getting annoying. Nia? Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream sealed by my past while my body lies wasting away on a hospital bed? Okay, that's pitch black. What is this? Yeah, I remember this picture we had taken out by the beach. Just after yet another bitter fight. She was just 24, but by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic, violent, erratic, erratic, violent shifts in temperament, brooded silences, Fixed stairs and an obsession where the whereabouts self-harm. Dang. 
I tried to get her to get help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended our relationship. Then it got worse. A lot worse. The phone calls. The stalking. The threats. And finally, I woke up one night to find her over my bed, staring at me. Her dark eyes empty and unreadable. Her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand, uh, okay. The furniture, the couch, the table, sort of puzzle, I forgot. This is a dream, how this feels so real, I can smell the bottom of this place, smell the bottom of this one. None of this makes sense, the apartment is where she and I live in, before everything went to heck. Okay. Let's go. Okay, the hospital is abandoned now. What is this place? Bro, even I recognized it. And I have the memory of a squirrel, and you don't memorize it? Okay. Okay, of course it's locked. Dang, he's actually shaking the doorknob a lot. Like, 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 like. Uh, how about here? Nope, still locked. Oh, still locked. Okay, let's keep going. Doesn't budge. But there's nothing else. Are we supposed to look at the car? Whoa! Uh, she's doing this. I don't know how. She's toying with me. I must find a way out of this nightmare. Okay. Okay, cool. It's cracked open. I'm gonna turn around and rip it in one, a two, a three. Okay, go. Okay. Can I do anything? No. Okay. Oh! Yo. Yo. I'm whipping it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Bro, how long is this game? Can this game just... Oh my gosh, my camera wasn't recording. Okay. Just keep walking. Hello? Okay. Um... That night, four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it. She held it to her own throat, and she said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped around her, grappled the prolate away, and subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital. A week, and a week later, I got a terrible call. Yup, she can kill herself. I bet you anything. Okay. Suck. Okay. got dark yeah oh gosh uh i'm gonna blur that just in case why did you do it why did you have to go like this they told me what you wrote on the note your last words okay uh what do you want from me nia i did what i could why are you tormenting me okay i'm just not gonna look behind me because it's giving me mad anxiety okay didn't think so let's keep going Okay, Mia, what do you want from me? I think of that note you left, your last words that you never, you ever, last words you ever wrote. Dang, Nidia, speak. Please don't. Oh, no. You wrote, I'm never going to let you go. Well, those were, I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? That if I'd done things differently, perhaps been more passionate? Perhaps a bit more compassionate, you might still be alive. Oh no! Ooh. Oh! I hate that. What was the answer to the question? Well. That's my video for today. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you all enjoy. Subscribe if you enjoy. Like while you're there. I'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.